right, welcome back everybody, and thank you for spending some time with me. I'm very grateful. In the last episode, we expanded our base. We needed more power, so we built another power room. We needed more storage for our gold, so we expanded our vault. And uh, we just generally expanded a few different of these, these areas to continue to grow our, our evil empire. So I think what we're going to do today is look at traps. And we are starting to be able to research traps, and we're getting traps. And it's just going to be a lot of fun to see um, how we actually execute some of these traps. So we're being prompted here. Staff room. Staff room. Okay, so once a minion's morale has fallen to critical levels, they'll need to relax. So we're going to need a place for them to watch television and relax just like everybody else. I think we'll put that over here. Just give me a small corridor. There we go. EGTV <laughs> will fill their day with shows for the villains always win. Okay, Evil Genius Television. All right. I wonder how many we, we'll try and squeeze maybe three in here. I think it needs to be that big though. Okay, so that is being built. Space is at a premium, so we're only going to build enough room for what we need right now. Another thing we have to do is research stairs. How do we go up and down? Probably our layer. Improve mining technique, which we did. So stairs is next. I think we should probably do that right now. Whatever we were researching before, we're going to put on pause. And we are going to see if we can't find some more room inside of this island. Because it looks like we are at the very top. And there is plenty of room below us, so, okay. So here on the world stage, it looks like we've got an opportunity to launch another scheme, make a little bit more money. And I haven't checked our objectives in a while. Let's see, oh yeah, we've got some stuff. Hiring minions. Lockers, yeah, lots of just money, just sitting there that we can put to good use. Okay, minions, guards, scientists, okay, I think we're looking good. Research is not happening. Maybe we should finish whatever we were doing before. What were we doing? Ah, we're we doing that. Okay. So yeah, we'll finish that and then we'll jump on to stairs. This is our nuclear generator, which is going to generate us more power, which is what we need anyway. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, so our side story with the valets has finished. Okay, let's see what we get. We get cocktail bar, baccarat table, floor show. Cover operation, we get a new room. That's great. It's a pleasure to meet you. Shouldn't be, do you know what we need you to do? Okay, so our next side story is technician. Are you responsible for the state of this room? Is that computer supposed to be giving off sparks? Okay, yes boss, that's how we know it's turned on. Looks broken to me. Don't you repair these things? We try, but it hurts the sparks. You can't rule the world with ramshackle layer, high hunk of junk equipment. Kidnap a specialist. Okay. Let's see here. Be nice to launch a scheme in a place where we're just about done with the other one. So we'll. We'll launch a scheme here in the Smother, Smothered Smash Republic <laughs> and head back to our base. 
I wonder if we have any traps right now that we can actually... Yeah, we've got our fan. We installed our fan. What else do we have? Maybe we'll put another fan here. So anybody who tries to come in who's not supposed to be on our base is just going to get blown right back out from where they came from. And there's our technician. Looks like our lunchroom is filling up. Should probably... Nice. There's our nuclear generator. Should probably... Yeah, we should probably give them some more room to have some lunch. We will do some interrogation and I am going to incentivize these folks to do the research. Looks like the interrogation went well, and now we've got a new piece of furniture, so we're going to go ahead and do that. We'll have to expand the training room a little bit, I think. Training room. We have a technician trainer. So we will just expand a little ways here. Probably. Yeah, we'll just expand as far as we can. Nice. We'll confirm that and then we'll drop in a new technician trainer. There we go. All right, a scheme has succeeded. Time to launch another one. They're just about done with the update to our training facility. Looks like they're gonna be bringing in our technician trainers. And these look like little workbenches. We'll see what they do there. They could probably use, they could probably use some more furniture in there. Let's drop a few more benches in, give them drinking fountain, always a good idea. Put one in the corner. There we go. Kind of take care of these minions. And then I think what we're going to do is update our power. So I'm going to have a look at this nuclear generator. So our normal generators, 3,000 producing 10 power, 10,000 producing 20 power, and they take up about the same amount of space. So I think what we're going to do is start putting some of these in here. Let's see. We'll just say, oh, like that maybe. I am just going to carve out as much of this space as I can so we can squeeze as much power out of this space as possible. And our stairs are done. That's awesome. Let's see. We will maybe upgrade our safe racks, store a decent amount of gold. Okay, so this is probably going to help us consolidate our gold storage, which is also something that we need. This gold takes up a lot of room, actually. It would be very helpful if we could maybe stack this a little higher or I don't know, but we will improve our storage for that as well. We're going to need space to have a staircase, maybe over here. This looks like a good place, actually. Let's put our stairs. Where are the stairs? 
Stairs. Okay. So they're about that big. We put it at the end. We might be able to. Just expand there. Grab our staircase. No, not quite big enough. Okay. How about right here? Yeah. That is what we'll do. I think we will put a staircase at the end of this hallway. Not enough gold. Inaccessible. Can't do that. Okay, so we're going to have to find a different place to put a staircase. Right, let me reconfigure some stuff and we will get a staircase in. Okay, so we've got a spot for our stairs and I think we can go ahead and confirm that. We're going to have to move some beds around, but we now have stairs going down onto the third floor right there. Oh, that's a perfect spot. That's great. Okay, so we've got more room below. We've got room over here where we've got water coming out. I haven't looked at all of these. Interesting. Okay, very cool. So this is going to be fun because we've got two separate areas where we will be building. And there's the giant hole. Okay. In the basement. Lots of room in the basement. Okay. So the basement, we connect up again. That's really interesting. This base configuration is really interesting. So if we want to go down to this area, we're going to have to run across the top of our top layer. And then if we need to go get a cup of sugar from somewhere down over here, we're going to have to go to the very top, run across the hallway and back down. Okay. <laughs> Maybe a little inconvenient, but that's fun. That's fun. We're going to jump back into the world stage real quick because I need to get a little bit more cash flow so we can buy more generators. Looks like we've got some heat here, so maybe we'll try and reduce the heat in this region. This region too, probably. Hmm. Looks like we've been locked out of this one. Heat is at a maximum, so this one's gone into lockdown. Well in lockdown, it will attract the attention of the forces of justice. It will not earn passive gold. It is unable to run schemes. Well, that is just not good. Okay, so our gold storage research is done, and it does look like it's stacking up. We've got drawers that pull out now. That's really cool. That's cool. Okay, so next, we're going to move on to traps. And I think poison darts. Pinball bumper. I really want to see what this is, so we're going to actually do that one. And we're being prompted here in our minion menu to train technicians. So we will set that to 12 like we do. And we'll go over to our training area and just see what happens here. So these are little workbenches where the technicians train. Looks like they'll be working on security monitors. It also says here that they will train faster if they have another minion who is able to teach them. So if we have technicians, if we have muscle, if we have valets already, uh, then it sounds like our minions will train faster, which is great. Okay, so I had to reduce the sleeping area in order to get these stairs in. But now we've got all this room downstairs. So I think what we're gonna do is put some of the function that's happening up here 
like maybe our power generator can generator room can go downstairs in this area let's see if we can go down again actually i'm going to just build and see if we can go down right straight again probably have to have a little bit of a gap in here so let's do something like that connect to the floor four no we want to go down can we do that not quite let's see can we do it right here that would be kind of fun can we go down yes that's good. can we why can't we go down Blocked by furniture on floor four. Advanced mining technique. Okay, so if we want to go down again, we're going to have to do some more mining research. That's fine. We will cancel this for now. And we're being prompted to put fire extinguishers in. <laughs> okay, well, that's uh, good. But at the same time, I don't really want fires in my facility we'll just put one maybe next to each door here because that seems like the thing to do if a fire happens in a room run into the hallway grab a fire extinguisher now in reality you know these things would have to be just you know 150 200 feet from each other depending on if you have sprinklers in your facility but since this is an evil base filled with lots of evil equipment prone to catch on fire we will put a fire extinguisher outside each door and then we will go back downstairs and we will just plan to put a staircase Just gets tighter and tighter doesn't it we'll plan to put a staircase across from this one once we do some more mining so i'm just gonna kind of frame out where we want things to be and we will move the generators down here we have technicians training now uh this one just graduated this one's still trying to figure out a security monitor but uh yeah these different stations that they've created are really funny and clever like revolving doors for valets that's just funny they've put a lot of thought into this game which i really appreciate but i'm going to continue to move these generators downstairs now that we've got more room nice the research on our pinball bumpers is done so we are going to move on to poison darts and they have started to move the generators down into the basement we are running really low on funds jump to the global stage make sure that we're not catching too much heat and start a few more schemes Scheming and dreaming, global domination. There we go. That should help our cash flow a little bit. And we can start to scout out more of these regions as well. So we're being prompted to look at our hallway corridor items. Boxing glove. We, okay, I think, I think this definitely needs to be part of our security system let's see can we put one here yeah and in this hallway yes that's very 
I don't know, Inspector Gadget, the boxing glove trap. That is funny. We'll have to see if we can entice some investigators to wander on back into our lair and fall into our evil traps. Make sure we train enough technicians to keep all your traps in working order. Okay. Well, I think we are doing that. And I think we're looking really good there. Perhaps we should add a few more items to our casino cocktail bar. Floor show. Oh, well, that's big. Um, can we squeeze a floor show in somewhere? Yes. And a baccarat table. I think we'll do cocktail bars in, in the corners. And we'll do baccarat tables maybe over here in this area. We'll just kind of spread things out. We've got a lot of room to work with here. And we'll confirm that. And they've picked up some movement near our lair. Keep an eye out for incoming agents. There's always so much to do because I know we talked about adding more dining area for our minions as well. Maybe we can start to do that now that we've got more space over here. Agents have arrived on the cruise ship. So we will tag them to be captured and then we can interrogate them for all their information. Looks like they're still riding the people mover. While we're waiting for them, we will continue to add items to our casino. So we've got railings, we've got sofas, tables, lamps, we've got all sorts of fun things that we can add to our casino. Maybe we'll put in some seating here and there. People can rest their feet before heading back to the tables. And put in some... We can't afford to pay all of our minions. Well, they're not going to be happy about that, are they? Okay, so capturing agents is a great way to ensure they don't inform the authorities of your dastardly deeds. So by capturing them or dispatching them, we are... What just happened here? That agent just killed one of our minions. Well, definitely going to capture you now. Huh. In the meantime, we have completed our poison dart research, and now we can move on to something else when we have the funds to do so, but I think we will put in some poison darts. Oh, that's right, and we've got bumpers, too. Poison darts. Bumpers. Bumpers. Looks like we've got something in the way here. This is our guard post. We can move this around the corner. I don't know what's going to happen with these bumpers. We'll just put a couple here. I don't know what will happen, but we've got poison darts and we've got our punching glove. Where did that agent go? Well, he's way over there. Our base is too well hidden over here in the corner. So this long hallway, we can expand off of it a little ways, but I do feel like there's a lot of opportunity for traps in this really long hallway. Um, I think we might have to look into that as we continue to research traps. The next one we're going to look at is the freeze ray. 
minutes, and we'll begin research on the freeze ray. That's great. Bumpers going in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know what those do. I don't know. I guess maybe they shoot out of the ground when someone tries to walk in. Don't know. Oh, here's our investigator. <laughs> Getting hit by poison darts. <laughs> okay. He is not happy about that. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, we were going to capture him. <laughs> Well, I guess that's uh, karma for him. Our security system is too good. We killed the only investigator in the building. I can't imagine what's going to happen when we just line this corridor with traps. It's going to be, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be nuts. All right, I think I'm going to continue adding generators to our generator room so that we can just have all of our power out of the way. So I'm going to add a few more here. I heard a cruise liner, so we'll see who gets off the boat. That's another investigator. Well, we'll try and capture this one. We might need to move some of our traps to that interior corridor just so that we can achieve what we're after here. Well, I guess we're on floor one. We need to go back up to floor four. Okay. Yeah, I think we'll move some traps around just so that we can actually capture an investigator. The generator room on the third floor is now full of generators and producing enough electricity for our base which leaves all of this space for us to expand and do whatever we need to. We've got another investigator coming through the front door. <laughs> Fan looked like it worked, but we will now capture this investigator. <laughs> awesome. So the traps are working great. The fan definitely blew this guy back out into this room here. Um, we saw the poison darts and the glove in action. Let's see if we can incorporate these bumpers in some way. So I'm going to rethink what this looks like here in our hallway. So if I am interpreting these bumpers correctly, it looks like we can maybe blow an investigator back into this area, triggering bumpers, and then just bump them back out into the casino. So we will set the trap and we will see what happens. But it says that these bumpers need to be used in combination with other traps. So I'm thinking fan is probably how we're going to do that. In the meantime, we've Got our investigator ready for interrogation. We are going to go into our traps research and continue to create traps. <laughs> so we've got laser wall, bubble cannon, giant magnet. How do they work? The truth is nobody knows, but this one works on people. So <laughs> I think we need to do that. Okay, we've got another intruder here. He's able to sneak past our guards because they looked like minions. So that's kind of new. And then this trap actually triggered when they walked through. Huh. They are really doing a number on our minions. So now we've got three prisoners, but only one 
containment holding cell. Perhaps we use some of this space to expand our prison. Yeah, it's time for some renovation. I'm putting the minions to work, creating a new locker facility over here, and then I've got them utilizing some of the space that was vacated by our generators uh, and turning that into barracks for sleeping. So that should help our minion capacity. It looks like we are being prompted to do a few things in the build menu. An archive, a room filled with learning equipment where minions can read store smarts. That sounds good. I think we will try and maybe put that, tuck that up in here. But then at the same time, we've got our control room that will probably also need to be expanded. So let's put the archive over here. And let's see how efficient we can be with our space. So we can't dig this yet, but we will be able to eventually. Okay, here we go. We're going to put the archive right there. Okay. Get a door right there. And we'll put some equipment into our archive room. Re-education chair. <laughs> yeah, we'll put a few of these in here. Oh, okay. So if their smarts get low, they will be susceptible to agents. That's not good. That is not good. Let's see. We'll put in one more chair right here. Put in some decor. Going to have the personal assistant. Should probably have one of those in each room. I don't know exactly what it does, but probably have one in each of these rooms. All right, let's jump back on the world stage once again to make sure that all of the scheming is going well, being prompted in some of these areas. All right, yeah, let's do this. Sunset Overthrive. An energy drink manufacturer has a new product on the market. However, we've discovered an, an unfortunate side effect <laughs> oh, time to blackmail. Okay. And over here, we will do... Let's see. What's this scheme? A genius best friend. Set up a diamond mine. Okay. We got a lot of heat. Maybe we should try and reduce the heat in some of these regions. But we do need to have a cash flow. I'm going to go ahead and speed up time. We can get this done a little bit faster. And I'm going to jump back into research. And we've got our giant magnet done. I'm actually going to jump over to layer because we've been prompted a few times to improve our mining technology, but we can't quite do that yet. So, multi gun, improve science minion vitality. Improves workers' smarts. Muscle minions will station themselves outside during high alert. So this is advanced guard post. What else do we have? Brainwasher. That sounds good. We've completed a side story. The technician side story. So we're going to get a new minion type. Which means what? You there, the one in the apron. What is it you do around here? Me, I repair things, prevent breakage, turn things off and on again. Oh good, we need someone to keep the layer in good working order. If you come across any corpses, just don't turn them back on. <laughs> I like them that way. Oh my gosh. 
Okay, well, we've got some rewards to collect for research and scheming and barracks and minions and all sorts of stuff. So now we've got optional side stories. And side stories with all the specialists running around your lair, you should make sure your minions still know who's in charge. Let's execute someone. Oh my. Well, I think that's going to do it for this episode. <laughs> in the next episode, I guess we're going to execute somebody. And as always, with each new subscription, a can of cram will be donated to a local fallout shelter. See you in the next one. Yeah, yeah, yeah.